Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, we have got Celebration Info. Um, and we have some interesting Celebration Info here as well. So, um, I, I guess, like, I could kind of point it out quickly, but there's no official easy a shown in here like it's like okay like you know i don't know tech exchange boo is easing or something like that there's nothing specific like that in here but there is two clues that it seems like tech ultimate gohan and str videl might easy a these two characters which gohan is a mid 2020 character and videl is the april fool's day of 2021 character so both are easily within range of easying um now, I, well, l l let's just go over the, kind of the evidence, and I'll give my thoughts on it. Um, I do have a video I, I recorded a couple hours ago that I probably should have put out yesterday going over what characters might easy a, and I didn't include Tech Gohan or STR Videl, so I guess I could give my thoughts on STR Gohan and Videl easing here, and then for a whole bunch of other characters, um... That'll be in that other video. Um, I guess I didn't mention, yeah, because there's also... I mean, physical Deborah and then the STR Super Saiyan Great Saiyan Man. But the thing about those two characters is they easy a, it will be from Tech, Majin, Vegeta, and in Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And those characters don't even have their easy a yet, right? Um, but here's... The, okay, so this does mean something. Like, I, I know this seems like very small, very inconsequential, but I could pull up at maybe four, five different, like, celebration infos like this where this, like, character in, like, a banner for one of these stones was the easy A. This was a thing in UI Goku, Stein UI Goku, uh, the, the blue Gogeta and Broly was a character before. Like, we've seen this repeatedly be a thing. So, I, I would say, to me, Tech Ultimate Gohan is now the most likely character to easy A in this Golden Week celebration, which I don't even... Bro, I... <laughs> I don't want to say it's impossible to fumble him, because that's definitely not true. But, I mean, the way this guy is built with the guard and the stacking, even with simply the stat increase that he would get by EZing, I mean, look at what his stats look like right now. I, you know, like, this guy's 20,000 20, like 20, HP, 20,000 attack, and what, like, almost 13,000 defense, something like that. Like, uh, he's gonna be a lot better, um, and I mean this. He, I, I don't know. When you look at what they did with LR Kill and Khalifa, this is a similar character. I feel like to Kill and Khalifa. Kill and Khalifa were way stronger, like when they first came out compared to this Gohan. But this guy was around forever. I mean, this guy was one of the better red zone options. That's not wrong. Like that's not false. On JP, we had no characters who could tank in there. And this guy, well, I mean, look, I'm looking at the global uh, wiki, so it's easy to read. But this guy came out, what was it, like July 31st of 2020 on JP? And then, you know, in February of 2022, he was one of the best characters we could run. Like, it's crazy. Um, so, I, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I got no clue. I, it, it seems, I thought that this guy was just, they were just going to hold on to him for a while. And then eventually give him a very subpar EZA. It's so easy for him to just be, you know, top 10 overall in the game. Uh, truly. Which is the simple combo of guard plus greatly stacking is ludicrously strong. That's why they've, like, not really done that. Like, is there another character that has that combo that recently? There must be some character that I'm not thinking of. Um, I mean, some of the... I, I guess... Technically, I mean, LR Ginyu, the Ginyu that just came out can do it, right? But I don't know. There, there's certainly characters I'm just not thinking of. Uh, and then Videl, I... Now, Videl... I mean... It's good that they would EZA these two potentially together, because that would help Videl's condition. At, like, Boo Saga... Like, of these characters are not the craziest. I guess... Uh, LR Ultimate Gohan would count for that, huh? Hmm. I I'm not sure about Videl. They could just make her so busted that it doesn't matter, which is what they should do with Videl, just like when she first came out. But, I mean, sh I don't... Does she really fit on Super Saiyan 3 Goku's Buu Saga team? Not really. So, the simple solution is you just make her 
broken as hell to where she's like just so strong that like links are kind of inconsequential because I mean, if you look at her link set, I like, like none of the Saiyan characters are rocking shit like that. Um, now certainly if like these two could be an, a potent combo, I mean, they would have cool judgment together, which is, you know, nice defense. They'd have fierce battle as well. So they'd at least have something. Um, I would really be in favor of just making Videl like, so like picture Kefla in your mind's eye and then go like twice as good. That is what I think they should do with Videl again, because I just don't really see like, if a character is just, like, a super strong defensive character or a support, I think, like, you, it's very easy to get around not having good, great links, right? But Videl, I mean, they, they could easily make her a defensive and offensive god, though, even without it. But typically, those characters aren't as important, right, if they're defense or support. But Videl is probably just going to be, like, a big damage dealer and stuff like that. I, we'll see. I would rather they make Videl just, like, ridiculously, stupidly OP. When you're going to do a character like this that doesn't really have a good spot for it, too, like, that's what they should do. I mean, none of these teams, like, this is not, none of this is basically anything right now. Um, I mean, it's going to be Boo Saga is going to be her one spot. I mean, I guess you could run Peppy Gals with 21. That's not, like, especially once Kefla gets her easy A, and then we have, what, 21, Kefla, Let's say Videl, Ribrian, Ribrian, and then who would the last one be? LR Bulma. I guess that that actually is probably a pretty good setup, huh? That will probably work pretty well. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, maybe those would be the two spots: Boo Saga and Peppy Gals, because the other ones are not like Earthbred Fighters. I'm not a fan of the leaders. That's not like I, I'm running 21 all day, every day over 23rd World Tournament Goku right now. It's just how it is. All right, so there we go. Those two. Uh, very high chance that they're easing. Now, let's go ahead and go through the celebration info. Uh, there's nothing, I think, really of any note in here. Um, it's just all stuff we pretty much already know. Um, and uh, they're going to slowly release stuff throughout the celebration. If you think that this is all the celebration's going to have, like, that's not going to be the case. There's tons. I I'm sure there will be, you know, five or six, maybe seven, eight easy A's in total, nine, ten. I mean, if we include sub easy A's and stuff like that. Um, we do have, uh, this guy. This, this is our first easy A for the celebration. And then, obviously, Global Dokkan is getting STR, Vegito, and Buhan early. I think that is a very good decision, by the way. It's very smart for Dokkan to have done that. All right, so let's see. Um, there's 10 stones and then some of the tickets for the, the 30 ticket banner. Uh, two stones every day um, and just some other stuff. All right, so we have login bonus, missions. Uh, there's going to be a special super daily mission, okay? We have the dual Dokkan Fest, which I believe starts in 14 hours. Well, 13 and a half hours, I believe, is when the dual Dokkan Fest drops. Uh, we have the two new characters, uh, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, and Boo. Um, hard for me to really gauge them right now um, before using them. Um, I think that just kind of like tentatively say, I think Boo could be the best TUR. And I think Goku is just somewhere in the mix with Boo, Vegeta, Topo, and himself. Uh, those are clearly the four strongest. Um, even if, like, whatever character ends up being four out of those four is still a beast. Probably Topo. I'll say there's a good chance we'll leave this celebration. I'll probably think Topo is the fourth best you are, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it's Goku. Maybe it's Boo. Maybe Boo isn't as impressive as I think when we get to using him. We'll see. But both characters do seem very good. By the way, if you're a global player... Wondering if you should summon. I mean, I would like to see the full banners first. I I mean, I don't know. It, it's I think it could be good to kind of maybe start thinking about anniversary now. Um, Boo, though, is artificial life form, which that mission um, against Beast Gohan with the artificial life form category, even with items, is really hard. Now, to be fair, when that first came out. Um, easy eight, <clears throat> uh, LR Buhan was not out for, uh, JP, which global will have him going into when the event actually drops. But even with items, this is a tough mission. Boo could definitely help in there. Um, compared to some of the fodder, like, I don't know, a character like LR super baby two literally does nothing in there. Like he, he's no 
help whatsoever. Um, there's, it, it's just the way the fight is structured. It's just very shitty characters just can't do at literally anything. And well, unless they're STR Kid Boo, who has his nullification. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Uh, there's going to be the Awakening Metal support campaign. That's fine. Extra free medals is good. Uh, the 30 tickets. So there's going to be missions and login and stuff like that. This goes until June 6th. Wow. Okay. So all of a sudden, I mean, that's the same month as Tana Bottom now. Damn. Okay. Uh, super sale. This is probably going to be pretty good. 13th sales end. So uh, looks like the LR, the part two LR, is probably going to drop this week. Yeah, it makes sense. So... Uh, okay, I, I would think that next week, probably the next two weeks are going to be a lot of EZs and stuff like that. Um, I think towards the bottom of this info, there is uh, events and stuff planned for like the 8th. Oh, yeah, because remember that Goku Day. Yeah, Goku Day is a thing. Remember, there'd be a separate like celebration info and, and potentially stuff there as well. Okay. Uh, then there's the Super Select Dragonstone 2 here that we'll be able to get. Okay, cool. Um, and then some good other sales. Nice. Uh, then we'll be able to buy the link skill balls, the keys, normal stuff. Um, here of course is the blue stone. There's tech ultimate Gohan, you know, could be interesting to see. Um, we could potentially see Deborah easy as well. Uh, then there's going to be a new red zone, the Majin Buu saga red zone. Um, I believe the two stages right now, looks like it's going to end with fat Buu and Bobbity stage one. And then stage two is going to end with super Buu is what it appears as though it's going to be. Uh, Super Buu, by the way, seems to be an AoE super attack boss. So, we'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, there's going to be a new stage for the Buu Saga EZA area. Uh, with this Super Saiyan 3 Goku getting his EZA. Honestly, he seems pretty solid. Could he be better? Yeah. But this is a free-to-play character. Um, I think he's at least runnable. 60% dodge, right? Like, you give him a full dodge build, you let this guy as, like, a slot 3 character. I do think he could help. Um, like if you're planning on going for the Dokkan Fest, this guy could help, even though they don't link together. I mean, you could easily run the Dokkan Fest and saw one float this guy. Like he potentially could help. Right. I remember this guy was, he was really solid when he first came out too. this, this free to play character. That's funny. Uh, there's going to be a red zone ticket banner for the Busaga red zone. That's good. Um, there is a elder Kai banner, a new super Vada road stage. Uh, this will allow us to get the new support, well, this, uh, Android 18 and, uh, Krillin, um, support memory, which is the permanent buffer for Android and Earthling category, so that's gonna be really good. New Extreme Super Vatero stage, Battlefield comes out, um, uh, with Battlefield is gonna be the EZA for LR Bobbity and Deborah. Um, they also seem like a fairly effective, uh, free-to-play character. Uh, Global's not quite gonna get this character, Global is actually getting, um, uh, uh, the GT cell and Frieza. Um, so that's, you know, that'll be good. Global is going to catch up in Battlefield soon, soon though. So no worries. Um, Bobbity and Deborah will be showing up on Global probably next Battlefield. Uh, then a bunch of random like story events, stuff like that. Well, not random, but these are all Boo Saga stuff. Um, now here's the, the potential thing with Videl. So if you look at all of these at like this, just dropping from the second to the 30th, for no reason. Like, it's, I don't know. It's just, like, this is where it seems like Videl could easy A. Is from this right here. Because you could grind Videl's um, super attack from this. With the Videl's that drop. So that could be it. I mean, maybe it's not the, the biggest hint ever. But, I mean, that's something right there. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if that matters. And keep in mind, Videl and Tech Gohan could easy A. And then they could still easy A, like, Tech Boo. Or in Super Saiyan 3, Tech Majin Vegeta. I mean, they could do a lot of easy A's. I assume we're going to have a sub EZA at some point. Again, I did do a separate video talking about EZA characters. I went over a lot of potentials, but funny enough, I didn't have uh, Tech Ultimate Gohan or Sierra Videl in there. Um, all Dokkan events and all EZAs will be up during the celebration, which is always really nice. Um, then on May 2nd, um, Infinite Dragon Ball History gets a new stage. There's going to be a new mission for the Legendary Freeze event on the 2nd. So already, here we go. At Dokkan, I mean, they finally learned. So many people were saying this. They need to do red zone missions, missions here, missions there. And now they're finally like, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. And so that's what they've started doing. 
there's just going to be a ton of missions constantly, right? Using different categories for different events and stuff like that. There's a ton of missions for the Boo Saga Red Zone. So that's going to be interesting with various different teams. Um, and then we're going to get a new stage to this event. I remember not really having too much fun with this one, but I want to try and make sure to go into an open mind with the second stage. The first stage was what? The Android 13 Climax Battle. We'll see what the next stage is going to be. I mean, I will give them this. It's at least an attempt at doing something different rather than just like a typical kind of stage. I mean, that's at least something, right? So there we go. Again, there's not really too much here. Most of the good stuff they are hiding. I mean, a new red zone is obviously very good. Hopefully it's on par with ninth anniversary content. That'd also be very good for Global Doe content not have to, you know, just be on the old 2023 stages anymore. So let me know what you guys think about Golden Week celebration info. Um, dual Dokkan Fest drops tonight, and very soon we'll find out officially who the EZA characters are. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys next time.